What is up fam? Welcome to another motor vlog. I actually haven't ridden my bike in uh, quite a bit of time. Uh, I haven't ridden so long that, uh, well, it's more like a week and a half. I haven't ridden in that time frame. And when I finally got back today to ride, I came to find my bike had a, uh, a little bit of an ant infestation. Motherfuckers were trying to build a colony on my bike, so I uh, had some uh, Premium bug spray for camping. Lovely. I had some Premium bug spray. Uh, I'll send a picture of it here. And I really recommend that you guys purchase it if you ever, you know, go camping or have a minor ant infestation. All right, so I guess uh, let's move on to the main topic of the video, you know. So I want to talk about what made me get this bike, you know, why I chose this bike. So um, the main reason or the, the kind of bike that I was looking for was a sport tour, you know, because I, I like to go on like long road trips with my bro. So a, a typical sport bike wasn't really going to cut it for me because the seating position on those uh, super sports are, you know, they're a bit uh, extreme. You know, I, I, I've sat on an R6, you know, I was considering an R6, um, but as soon as I got on it, I was just like, all right, this is a little too, too much for me, you know, and I felt very cramp on it. And uh, like overall, I was just, uh, it, my whole instinct was just like, all right, don't get this bike. It's, uh, it's a bit too much for you. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude. I'm like 220 pounds uh, with full gear and like 5'10". So when I sat on the R6, I was like, yo, I'm too big for this thing. Like my legs were just cramping because of the seating position. Um, maybe I just need to get used to it, but overall, man, not my style, you know? So I chose, uh, so I wanted to like, you know, get the fastest bike I can for the the sport touring type of uh, of, uh, of style of riding, you know. So the fastest would be the uh, Ninja 1000. I actually uh, was considering that one, but that bike is huge, man. It's so heavy. It's a big boy bike. And, you know, I live in New York City and a bike like that isn't going to be, you know, a good fit for this setting. Um, Also, I, I I occasionally go to Brooklyn, so uh, riding a big bike like that in Brooklyn is not going to be fun. Also, summer, that bike, you know, and the Ninja 1000 generates a lot of heat, and I don't wanna necessarily want to cook under the sun while you know while filtering through traffic on a big bike. Also, lanes filtering or uh, splitting is not going to be fun on a on a monster of a bike like that, you know. And also, my skill level is not there yet where I can handle that much power so that left me with a few choices one being uh, you know get like a CPR 650R which is the fastest like upright seating comfy bike that I could get so I looked into getting a uh, you know a Honda CBR 650R but then I saw the uh, the insurance price on those things and they were quoting me like 450 to 500 so I was like bro I can't afford that or if, even if I can I wouldn't want to pay like 500 bucks a month for full coverage on a, on a motorcycle you know something that I would consider to be a toy uh, so next uh, you know the, the next option was to get a uh, this bike a Ninja 650 and you know the insurance cost for full coverage was was within my budget and all I had to do was pull the trigger and here it is and that's how I arrived to this option. And now you're probably wondering, what about the naked options, you know? I considered a uh, CB650, and that also had a, uh, a pretty pricey insurance cost per month for full coverage. And uh, yeah, was not, I wasn't too happy about <laughs> finding that out. And of course, I could have gotten like a R7, even the R7 was above my price range in terms of uh, insurance costs and of course the same thing with the, the naked variant of the uh, of the R7 what, what is it called? fuck Yamaha 
MT, MT07, there you go. So even the MT07 was a bit pricey. So that, <laughs> so I was like, all right, scratch that out. The SV6, the SV650 was another contender, but the only reason why I chose the Ninja 650 over the SV650, the Suzuki, is because the Ninja 650 just looked better for me, you know? I was just in love with the sport bike look, but you know, I necessarily didn't want to have the, uh, the sport bike extreme forward leaning uh, seating position. So I just, you know, no brainer to choose the Ninja 650. And it was just everything I wanted from a bike. I wanted good gas mileage, good touring capability in terms of comfort, and uh, you know, this long distance riding, this offers it. I've already ridden eight hours on this bad boy. Of course, riding for eight hours will will hurt your ass regardless of what kind of bike you ride. But <clears throat> yeah, this bike, I've tested it on long distances. It's, uh, it, it gets my seal of approval for long distance riding. And gas mileage is amazing on this bad boy. It has a pretty big tank. Uh, yeah, good range, maybe 200 if you don't go past, you know, 60 miles an hour. You know, keep the RPMs at 4K. Of course, styling is a, is, it's a beautiful looking bike. I, I, I truly love this thing. And, uh, you know, it's just a nice, comfy, sport bike looking bike, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I chose this beautiful machine, you know. It's, it's, a, it's just a perfect all-arounder. And like, you know, people have asked me on, like on YouTube and on the comment section, they were like, do you regret buying this bike or, you know, do you wish you got a faster one? Well, to answer that question, yes, I wish I would. I got the uh, the Honda CBR uh, 650R. However, the only reason why they get it is because it's too damn expensive to insure. You know, the, the thought of of having a uh, another bike bump, I have to stand up for that one. Getting another bike isn't even a thought in my head right now. You know, I am so content with this motorcycle that, like, I think I might just keep it, you know, for until it just goes kaput. Also, um, I mean, on my review, I did, uh, I did complain about the vibrations a bit, but I think the vibrations have gone down since that last review of mine. So, you know, as long like, you know, when if you have, of course, people would tell me, people told me that um, since it's a new bike, the vibrations are going to be a little bit more than, you know, the normal. So, uh, yeah, and I think that, I think that's true. You know, uh, the 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 vibrations on this have gone down quite a bit to the point where I don't really think about it too much anymore. I'm just gonna go stop over here, pit stop, you know. I like to go to this area, just have a little bit of pit stop, ride around a bit, check to see if there's any booty, and then dip. Of course a tunnel, I try not to rev. Ah, I couldn't help myself, I read. Whew, what a beautiful day, man. I fucking love this day. Lot to be thankful about. Sheesh. Not many people today. Well, actually, you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of people. I'm tripping. Yeah, I just like to go here, ride slow a little bit, you know, cool off and then dip. Beautiful Sunday, Sunday afternoon, 1, 1 p.m. Po po, po po. The po po. Better run. They're on to me. The times I've been speeding. <laughs> also, I guess, like, you know, it's Kawasaki. You know, if it's Japanese, it's gotta be reliable. So that's like my mentality with it. You know, so I guess that's why I chose it. <laughs> so comfy. I could just sit upright, you know, like not break my back. 
Well, guys, uh, I guess that concludes, uh, you know, all that I needed to say about this bike on why I purchased it. And I hope you, you know, I hope it was useful to anyone that was or is thinking about, uh, you know, purchasing a, uh, a Ninja 650. So basically, you know, the takeaway that I want you guys to leave with is that I am content with this bike, you know, like I don't have any, uh, any, what's the word? Fuck, I'm blanking on the word. Any regrets about purchasing this motorcycle, you know, I, I feel like I made the right choice when, when buying this bike. So hopefully that is a good enough reason for you guys to, to purchase it, you know? Of course, if, if you're the type of guy that wants to go fast, then this may not be the bike for you. But for me, this is this bike is fast enough, honestly. Also, I guess uh, before I leave, I, I want you guys to know, like, like, I guess you should also consider your like your riding style. Um, like my riding style, you know, I, I mean, you see videos of me like fucking gunning it and shit, but that's that's only that only shows like, like honestly, a small portion of. But my kind of, of riding, you know, my, my riding is honestly more like sport touring 99% of the time, or like 95% of the time. And then the other 5%, I want to go fast, you know. But uh, that's, you know, 5% is a, a small portion. So uh, that you see, you know, I, 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 I post like me going 120 miles an hour. And that's like <laughs> the few 5% of the time where I'm gunning it. But most of the time I'm riding like this, just like just cruising, you know. So my, my style of riding isn't necessarily like aggressive sport bike, you know. So that's also another reason why I chose this bike. Because I feel like this bike is for someone who 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 rides like me. Like you know, like 95% of the time we're just cruising. But you also want that sport bike look, you know. But don't necessarily want that aggressive seating position and this bike you know and of course the C the CBR uh, 650R uh, will satisfy you in that if that's what you're looking for well all right guys thank you for watching this video um, I'm gonna park up over here and turn off the video and uh, we do a little bit of a reset